Hello, happy Wednesday. Um, it's that time again for Mr. Story Storytime. I am reading Horrid Henry, which we started yesterday. Um, and it was at the point where Horrid Henry was being really nice, uncharacteristically nice, to his mother, his father and his brother. And his brother, Perfect Peter, uh, got very frustrated and ended up throwing something at his mother. So I'm going to carry on. Then Peter threw the spaghetti. Henry ducked, splat, spaghetti landed on mum's head. Tomato sauce trickled down her neck and down her new yellow fuzzy jumper. Peter, yelled mum and dad. You horrid boy, yelled mum. Go to your room, yelled dad. Perfect Peter burst into tears and ran to his room. Mum wiped spaghetti off her face. She looked very funny. Henry tried not to laugh. He squeezed his lips tightly together. But it was no use. I'm sorry to say that he could not stop a laugh escaping. It's not funny, shouted Dad. Go to your room, shouted Mum. But Henry didn't care. Who would have thought being perfect would be such fun? There you go. Henry giggling away at his mum and his dad. Chapter 2. Horrid Henry's Dance Class. Stomp, 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 stomp. Horrid Henry was pra practising his elephant dance. Tap, 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 tap. Perfect Peter was practising his raindrop dance. Peter was practising being a raindrop for his dance class show. Henry was also supposed to be practicing being a raindrop, but Henry did not want to be a raindrop. He did not want to be a tomato, a string bean, or a banana either. Stomp, stomp, stomp went Henry's heavy boots. Tap, tap, tap went Peter's tap shoes. You're doing it wrong, Henry, said Peter. No, I'm not, said Henry. You are too. We're supposed to be raindrops. Stomp, stomp, stomp went Henry's boots. He was an elephant smashing his way through the jungle, trampling on everyone who stood in his way. I can't concentrate with you stomping, said Peter, and I have to practice my solo. Who cares, screamed Horrid Henry. I hate dancing, I hate dance class, and most of all, I hate you. That was not entirely true. Horrid Henry loved dancing. Henry danced in his bedroom, danced, and danced and up and down the stairs, Henry danced on the new sofa and on the kitchen table. What Henry hated was having to dance with other children. Couldn't I go to karate instead, asked Henry every Saturday. No, said Mum. Too violent. Judo, said Henry. N-O spells no, said Dad. So every Saturday morning at 9.45am, Henry and Peter's father drove them to Miss Impatience Tutu's dance studio. There she is, Miss Impatience. Miss Impatience Tutu was skinny and bony. She had long, stringy grey hair. Her nose was sharp, her eyes were pointy, her knees were knobbly. No one had ever seen her smile. Perhaps this was because Impatience Tutu hated teaching. Impatience Tutu hated noise. Impatience Tutu hated children. But most of all, she hated Horrid Henry. That wasn't surprising. When Miss Tutu shouted, class, lift your left legs, 11 left legs lifted. One right leg sagged to the floor. I wonder if you can spot it amongst there. When Miss Tutu screamed, heel, toe, Heel, toe, eleven dainty feet tapped away. One clumpy foot stomped, toe heel, toe heel. When Miss Tutu bellowed, class, skip to your right. Eleven bodies turned to the right. One body gallant to the left. Naturally, no one wanted to dance with Henry, or indeed anywhere near Henry. Today's class, unfortunately, was no different. Miss Tutu, Henry is treading on my toes, said Jumpy Jeffrey. Uh, Miss Tutu, Henry is kicking my legs, 
said Lazy Linda. Uh, Miss Tutu, Henry is bumping me, said Vain Violet. Henry! screeched Miss Tutu. Yeah, said Henry. I'm a patient woman and you are trying my patience to the limit, hissed Miss Tutu. Any more bad behaviour and you'll be very sorry. What will happen? asked Howard Henry eagerly. Miss Tutu stood very tall. She took a long bony finger and dragged it slowly across her throat. Henry decided he would rather live to do battle another day. He stood on the side, gnashing his teeth, pretending he was an enormous crocodile about to gobble up Miss Tutu. This is our final rehearsal before the show, barked Miss Tutu. Everything must be perfect. Eleven faces stared at Miss Tutu. One face scowled at the floor. Tomatoes and beans to the front, ordered Miss Tutu. When Miss Thumper plays the music, everyone will stretch out their arms to the sky to kiss the morning hello. Raindrops stand at the back next to the giant green leaves and wait until the beans find the magic bananas. And Henry, spat Miss Tutu glaring, try to get it right. Has Miss Tutu shown him what to do? Positions, everybody. Miss Thumper, the opening music, please, shouted Miss Tutu. Miss Thumper bound, banged away. The tomatoes weaved in and out, twirling. The beans pirouetted. The bananas pointed their toes and swayed. The raindrops pitted-pattered. All except one. Henry waved his arms frantically and raced round the room. Then he crashed into the beans. Henry! Screeched Miss Tutu. Yeah, scowled Henry. Sit in the corner. Henry was delighted. He sat in the corner and made horrible rude faces while Peter did his raindrop solo. Tap, 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 tap. Tap a tap a tap a tap a tap a tap tap tap. Tap a tip, tap a tip, tap a tap a tap a tip. Was that perfect, Miss Tutu? Asked Peter. Miss Tutu sighed. Perfect. Peter, as always, she said, and the corner of her mouth trembled slightly. This was the closest Miss Tutu ever came to smiling. Then she saw Henry slouching on the chair. Her mouth drooped back into its normal grim position. Miss Tutu tugged Henry off the chair. She shoved him to the very back of the stage behind the other raindrops. Then she pushed him behind the giant green leaf. Stand there, shouted Miss Tutu. But... No one will see me here, said Henry. Precisely, said Miss Tutu. It was showtime. The curtain was about to rise. The children stood quietly on stage. Perfect Peter was so excited, he almost bounced up and down. Naturally, he controlled himself and stood still. Horrid Henry was not very excited. He did not want to be a raindrop, and he certainly did not want to be a raindrop who danced behind a giant green leaf. Miss Thumper waddled over to the piano. She banged on her keys. The curtain went up. What is going to happen next? What is Henry going to do? Henry's mum and dad were in the audience with the other parents. There they are. Very proud parents. As usual, they sat in the back row in case they had to make a quick getaway. They smiled and waved at Peter, standing proudly at the front. Can you see Henry? whispered Henry's mum. Henry's dad squinted. Uh, 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 yeah. A tuft of red hair stuck up behind a green leaf. I think that's him behind the leaf, his father's, he said his father doubtfully. I wonder why Henry is hiding, said mum. It's not like him to be shy. There he is. What's he going to do? We will find out tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the book. Uh, enjoy the rest of your Wednesday and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much.